Well, Paul, well done. That's back-to-back 3-0 wins. How are you feeling after that? Yeah, good. I, I, sorry, I didn't know it was back-to-back 3-0 wins. Um, yeah, great. I thought the lads were excellent. Uh, first half, um, weirdly probably the best we've played in a while. I thought we were virtually unstoppable, apart from the, the final uh, missing piece. Um, and then the longer the game got on, went on, sorry, I just thought we looked really dominant. And then the more they had to try and come at us, uh, you know, the lads were excellent at picking them off and, and getting in behind, so we probably could have scored more goals. But as an away performance goes, go, sorry, it's absolutely amazing. I loved it. I loved it. I said to my half time, I loved it. Just don't get too frustrated if you don't get the goal within the first five or six minutes. But to get them two goals in quick succession, um, yeah, it was really pleasing, and the lads deserve it. They've been brilliant. So, uh, yeah, really, really pleased. In terms of the performance then, what made it such an amazing away performance for you? Uh, well, I think, uh, you know, we they had a lot of strength, offset pieces, free kicks, corners and all that. They're big side, they're two centre-halves are like 18 foot each or something. So they're, it's always going to be a threat. Uh, so I thought the three centre-halves done really well in their zones, defending set pieces. And then the little fellas, the little dwarfs were like in and around their players, which is natural for some of our players so I really like that part our defensive set pieces were really strong which they need to be when you're away from home uh, I thought our wing backs give us a lot of energy I was really pleased with them thought the middle of the park were pretty sound I mean I'm just going through the team aren't I but the front three worked really hard and sometimes you have to come into feet sometimes you have to stretch the play and I think in previous criticisms of, of, of this great team was that sometimes we were a bit predictable we play in front of teams a bit too much like you just got to go after teams just can't use the words I would use, but go after teams. And I thought today we slid down the sides a lot, we stretched the play a lot, we looked athletic and exciting, and that's how I want the lads to play. So that's what pleased me. Obviously, Joe keeping a clean sheet is great, and um, yeah, there wasn't much wrong. We didn't pick up any injuries or anything like that. So, but what pleases me, and I said it to the lads after, is that like, we have a brilliant culture at this football club. Like the lads are outstanding humans brilliant lads like the dressing room's buzzing the dressing room was bubbly in training yesterday um, and I, you could feel it and, excuse me and, and I said to him at half time like, just don't get frustrated but just you know there's only not, potentially only 19 halves of football left just got to gas out just just give it your job lot enjoy what you're doing for a living and and that is worth in my opinion six seven points like other teams have great players I've said it in another interview other teams have great players I'm not saying we've got the greatest players in the league but I do think we've got one of the best teams because the lads are close they're in a knit and they understand that sometimes they don't play sometimes they do and you need that to have success it isn't just what you see on a Saturday <coughs> excuse me it's about how they train and look after each other all week and that's what really pleases me in terms of the goals, Dwight Gale, that's two and two for him now. It's what you brought him in to do, <laughs> score goals. He's done it all his yeah. career. And then Tom Barkhausen's as well. Lovely play by Nat and a, and a great finish as well for, for that, which those two goals in a couple of minutes really strengthen your grip on the game. Yeah, uh, a crucial because you get one goal. Um, there's always still a, a set piece going in, you know. It's a great atmosphere here. The fans get right behind their team and... I don't know, get the odd decision they might not get anywhere else and then you're getting free kicks and corners in so you need that second goal to um, settle yourself maybe and then when we went 2-0 up that was when we were our strongest because they're coming at us and we were just picking them off so uh, that's what really pleased me and then like, obviously we get the game changers on and they had a positive effect as well obviously Waggy I, I, I don't know if he missed one I don't know I don't know <laughs> He owed you a goal, though, didn't he? Five yards out, I think he missed one. Uh, but Waggy was excellent, and like I say, Waggy drives it in training, you know, wants the team to do well and keep egging the lads on, and he's like um, like a captain even when he's not on the pitch. So overall, as days go, and I hadn't had many better. Max Bird not in the squad today. What's the situation with him? No, Birdie um, felt his calf Tuesday in the warm-up, um, so unfortunately he's going to be missing for a few weeks um, it's not too severe but you know I think he's missing for another three weeks at least I suppose it helps that you've got strength in depth in that position competition for places is yeah, really yeah. strong you've got uh, Connor Hurrahan, Corey Smith Liam Thompson Tyrese Fauna young Darren Robinson was on the bench as well today yeah uh, we're blessed uh, with uh, a good squad and obviously we've had a lot of injuries this year and we've had people who've had to step up it's a little bit when the Prime Minister changes uh, everyone like underneath that are like pushing and you know trying to get powerful seats and it's a bit like Birdie's not in the team for a few weeks 
Uh, and then everyone's like, well, hang on a sec, there's a chance to, you know, so it increases levels of training, weirdly enough, and um, which is good. I mean, I played Connor today, I could play Corey, I could play Tomo, and uh, Robbo was on the bench today. Tyrese Fauna's back was a bit tight, so uh, we didn't risk him. But, yeah, we're blessed with some midfielders, and it helps us for midfielders if you have, you know, a front three like we have with pace and athleticism to give them options on the ball. So, um, you know, if I was a centre mid, I'd like to play with behind them front three. Busy week, you've got Reading and Bolton at Pride Park in um, the next couple of days. I guess you just want to bottle this feeling up and, and take it forward into next week and, and get some more results on home turf. Yeah, that'd be I mean that'd be great. When I mean as great as you feel today, like you know, you get up tomorrow and you're starting all over again, but potentially there can only be eighteen halves of football. You've just got to try and gas out in each and we'll we'll end up where we end up. You just gotta look after your own games. If we could get, you know, I mean, obviously I want six points in the next two games, but um, you've just got to you could go for it, really. And I think the way we play today, the lads will get confidence from. Like, Bristol Rovers have been on better run than us, in fairness, in points. So it's a good place to come and win and play the way we did. So if we can back it up at home with a, a raucous um, Pride Park, which would be great, uh, the lads come out feeling a million dollars. And like I said, if they play that to that level against anyone, we're, we're a force to be reckoned with. So, yeah, really, really proud of the lads today. They... Um, I was yeah, I was really proud to be their manager. They're a good set, and I don't think sometimes we've really played right on point. But I, I thought today was as close to it. Um, so yeah, really pleased for everyone. Just lastly, you've been under the weather the last couple of days. That must make you feel a lot better coming away with three points. Well, apart from them throwing all the bottles around, you must be uh, really pleased that you can enjoy it tonight after the last couple of days. Yeah, it'd be nice. I mean, I'm seeing my niece now, so that'd be great. So I'm going to take her out for food. I've obviously got to take my derby tracksuit off. If not, I might be going back up north in pieces but um, yeah I'm looking forward to uh, enjoying the win uh, and then starting again but you know I think you know as a team we're pretty well solid we've got brilliant members of staff here and I missed a couple of days this week but it doesn't have any effect on the team in fact there's a positive effect so uh, I might have to look at my contract and see how many days I've actually got to turn up uh, and, and work to the lowest common denominator but yeah really pleased for the lads and I said to him when, you know, when I you know saw him yesterday I said again today that you know when I was out not in Thursday I was like oh I feel like I miss everyone it's like <laughs> it's like everyone's at school having a good time and on my own watching oh, I don't know feeling sick so uh, so really good performance not about me obviously um, and uh, thanks for all the Derby fans who turned up by the way it didn't seem there's many I don't think we got the same amount of allocation I mean this could be edited but we didn't have much, did we, for us? Uh, 1,300 for us, yeah. 1,300. They've got to be the uh, the gold star super fans if they're in the 1,300. So no wonder they were so happy. And I like, appreciate it because it could have been peeing it down at one stage. So uh, thanks very much. I hope you enjoyed the game and uh, please come again.